Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm, I'm going to talk about why you're having trouble punishing a monster. One of three things can happen when it's your turn to attack the monster. The first thing that can happen is that you are late. All right, let's say the monster does bite attack. That's a very fast attack, but you're standing all the way out here. By the time he's done with the attack, you have to run all the way in and he's gonna start his next attack. I'm an example of why you're late. So you basically have zero time to get in and get your attack in. Another reason why you could be late is say you're not standing by the weak point in time. So for some reason you're back here and the monster does attack. And again, it takes too much time to run all the way over here and get your attack in. It's especially true with the slower weapon as well, like Switch Axe or Great Zord. Another reason you could be late is, say the monster does a attack that forces you out of position. So for example, say the monster does a charge here. Well, if he charges this way, and say he ends up over here, and you were over here, then you're the same thing, you're out of position and you're late. So you can't really run all the way here and attack him. One thing you can do is if the charge is slow enough, you can kind of stay with the monster. So as he's charging, this way, you're kind of running with him, so by the time he ends his charge, you're probably somewhere over here. And you can see you have less distance to travel, so you're not as late. Now, typically when you're late, this will change your standard punish for that move into a faster version. So for example, if we typically punish the monster with a 5 second punisher, that's usually degraded to maybe a 3 second or 1.5 punisher. The reasons you may be late is because you got hit on the previous move and you have to disengage because you have to heal. So, you know, drinking a potion takes time. Even max potions, they still take a little bit of time. They're still pretty fast though. But usually when you disengage, you're creating that distance and it's going to cause you to be late for the next monster attack. One thing you can do is if you're pretty confident with the monster, you can heal right in its face so you can stay close and just strafe the monster and walk left and right. Can't really do this in the older Monster Hunter games because you do the flexing animation when you drink a potion, which locks you in place. But for World and Rise, you can typically still kind of run around. Obviously the best option is to use max potions. They're quite fast. However, I find that even max potions are still not as fast as you'd like them to be for Tempered Elder Dragons and a lot of the endgame monsters in Iceborne. So proper positioning and even possibly disengaging with the monster to use max potions is still recommended. All right, the next scenario is being on time. So say a monster does bite here, well, you just strafe out of the way and you're right by a weak point and you're on time. And uh, you know, the, there's a certain amount of recovery frames associated with the monster's attack. So based on your monster knowledge, you are going to determine whether you have enough time for 1.5 Punisher or a three second Punisher, or even in some cases, a five second Punisher. But as long as you're in position and you're near the monster weak point and you dodge the attack, <laughs> it's very important to dodge the attack, then you can, you're on time. You can do your standard Punisher for whatever, whatever monster attack that is. A major part of the gameplay loop in Monster Hunter is identifying all the monster's attacks and determining what the proper positioning and Punisher should be for each monster's attack so that you are always pre-positioning in the right spot, as well as getting enough attacks in on the monster without greeting so that you don't get punished yourself on the follow-up attack by the monster. So you always want to aim to be on time. Now, the last situation that can happen is you're early. And typically there's two scenarios where you're early. The first scenario is fairly uncommon and that's if the monster whiffs. So the monster does a big wind up for an attack and for some reason you were out of position, but just like the monster hitbox didn't hit you for some reason, well, you got lucky and that's good because you can already start attacking. And when you're early, this typically leads to true counter situations where you can actually start attacking the monster while they're still attacking you. Being early is also a very common scenario in multiplayer because the monster can only attack one person. So the other three hunters can get their true counters off because the monster is literally not directing its attacks toward them. And the other hunters usually have free reign to attack on at least some part of the monster's body. That's why multiplayer is objectively easier than single player. But that, that's also another reason why multiplayer leads into bad habits when you go back to single player because you have more windows to attack the monster than you would have if you're aggroed 100% of the time by the monster. Another common scenario to be early against the monster is uh, if you have the right skills. So very common scenarios like earplugs. Earplugs completely nullifies the area effect of the roar it's pretty much a guaranteed true counter that's why your plugs is very powerful it's a guaranteed true counter and it's a guaranteed early scenario so in general you should always aim to be on time or early again early you know in single player is very uncommon don't think that you can always be early like early there's usually some other factor in your favor for example multiplayer when the monster's not aggroed against you or or when an invading monster comes and then they start a turf war so they're literally not focused on you and you can just get free hits on the monster while they're in the turf war animation or the monster just whiffs again that's very uncommon so don't rely on it always aim to be on time and to be on time you know id the monsters quickly you have to id the monsters move quickly and get out of the way into position as soon as possible so that you can get in your standard punisher for each monster attack thanks for watching